Good afternoon. How you guys doing today? I hope if I lock the door. So this morning it was all gloomy and rainy and nasty and then cleared up a lot during the day. fucking knocking back out around 10 and woke back up at 1 p.m. I don't know why I'm so lazy today. Just tired as all hell. Do you guys remember? I don't know if it was like this where you guys live, but all that 2012 Mayan calendar bullshit. You kept hearing about it so much about last year or even the year before that. You kept hearing about it. Now it's like November 2012 and you don't hear jack shit about it. That's pretty funny. I want to go ahead and talk about places to live and the cost it is to live there. Anywhere in the world. Anybody know any good little secret nice places that is actually not even that bad to live at for for like you know the rent cost and utility cost etc. Do you guys know of any good places where you could find some cheap rent, a beautiful area? Preferably with jobs in it. Where, what's some places around the world you guys know of? Even if it's somewhere where you live. Where's a nice place you guys know about? I'm just curious. Because I'm not going to be stay, staying here in California my whole life. Maybe I will. Maybe I might want to have a couple years where I move out somewhere else. But that's another possibility I've been wanting to do is moving. And I'd be more than happy if you guys could uh, uh, share some of your places you guys know about with me and let me know how like the weather is or even the atmosphere of people obviously I'm trying to move into a, from one ghetto area to another but nice breeze. I love when it's not too hot and it's not too cold. It's just perfect where you're just enjoying it. Enjoying the ride. That's how today is. I'm pretty sure you guys are aware of California medical marijuana laws, right? I'm going to go ahead and show you guys something. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is. <laughs> how easy it is for you to get legal and be a California medical marijuana patient out here. There's a building in here. I mean, they're all over the place. Don't get me wrong, but there's a building in here where it says forty dollars qualifies you guaranteed and you get your MMJ card. Look at this. You just walk into this place and you tell them something's wrong with you, like you can't sleep, and it's forty dollars, and you're good. some fucking jack-in-the-box I love when I see a respectful kid with manners like he said thank you because I stopped and let them go in front of me like that's what I'm supposed to do it's a law 
and yet the kid was still very thankful. I gotta appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but the tap water here, as a matter of fact, let me rephrase that, where I was living in Riverside, um, my buddy's dad, I was roommating with them, and uh, he, <clears throat> he said that Riverside had the number one in the entire country, the number one worst water in the entire United States. And when that water comes out of that faucet, it's hard, it's not hard to not believe that. <laughs> so, uh, I always get my own water. And that little Ninja 250's got spider webs coming off the tires. That thing literally, it's like perfect condition. It, it looks like the thing's barely even been written. And that thing's always just sitting like, And, um, man, I wouldn't mind having it. <laughs> Wonder if he's selling it. I've never ridden a new, I've never ridden a Ninja 250. My first motorcycle was that uh, Kawasaki EX500. I'm gonna attempt to ride home with pizza. I ordered a medium pizza and I gotta get home with it, so we're gonna see what's up. And she actually put it in the bag for me, I didn't ask her to, so that was kinda cool. I think we'll put it right here. Oh, oh I've got a nice huge slope here. And it's kind of cool how she did that because I got to put it around my wrist and use my hands. Oh yeah. That works out. Works out just fine. Yeah guys, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching.